Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert ISO files. So for pre-release builds like alphas and betas or demo disks, how to convert those into a file that's usable in RPCS3 so you can emulate these demos and pre-release builds. This should work for just about any PS3 ISO, but I'm doing this as sort of a follow-up to an older video that I did about uncharted pre-release builds that were released by the Kempi on the internet archive. And I got some comments asking for a guide on how I set this up on my emulator. So let's just get into it. These are some Uncharted 1 pre-release builds that were published to the Internet Archive from the Kempi. So I've already downloaded these and let's just start uncompressing these 7-zip files. If you're on Windows 10 you'll probably need 7-zip to unzip these but Windows 11 now has this natively. The next tool you're going to need is called PS3 Generator Tools. Uh, this is the one that I'm using. I'm not sure if it's the original, but it works for me. So I'll just link this down below. So once all of those pre-release builds are unzipped, let's open up our PCS3. But I'm just gonna show you that it doesn't work. The ISOs don't show up. You can't add those to our PCS3. So that's why we need this generator tool. So let's go back to that. So in the generator tools, let's open the readme. You can check out what's going on with these. So we're gonna be using the ps3checker.exe. So I think the first one, PS3 gen, lets you make ISOs and then this one will decrypt ISOs. So let's go and open the ps3checker.chk.exe. And since that original video, I've also figured out how to get this E3 build of the game working on our PCS3, but let's just get that added in here. So let's go into this E3 version of the game and then you just drag this ISO into the software and then next you're going to hit decrypt it'll open this pop-up you're going to have to choose where to output it let's just put it in the same folder where we found the ISO but you can put this anywhere and then you're going to want to select all files underneath that file path so this is going to take quite a while the estimate said about 40 minutes I think it took about 10 to 20 once that's done you should see a PS3 game folder, a PS3 update folder, and a PS3 disk.sfb file. These are the ones that are going to run in RPCS3. And then here is the version of RPCS3 I'm using. In this version, this is 0 0.3216670. If you're curious, it shouldn't matter too much. And then you're just going to go file, add game, and then we'll go to that folder that contains those three folders that we just made. Select folder. Another weird thing about this is that these three different builds of Uncharted 1 will overlap each other in RPCS3. I couldn't figure out how to get all three of them listing at once. So you just have to add one at a time. And then because of that, you should also make sure that you remove all the cache files. Every time you switch to a different Uncharted 1 pre-release build, this is the problem that was making the E3 build not work for me before because apparently the E3 build uses a different cache system than the, I guess, internal builds of the game, which would kind of make sense because the E3 build was for demo booths and stuff like that. So it probably has less bloat and doesn't have as many dev tools embedded into it and stuff like that. And then let's just double check that this is the right one. Yeah, so this links me to the E3 code folder that I just made. And then another good idea with this that I would recommend you do, you don't have to do this, it should work without it, but we're going to open the custom config and then we're going to go to the RPCS3 listing for Uncharted 1 and we're just going to add these optimal recommended settings to get the best compatibility for this game. So there's a few GPU and advanced configuration changes we need to make. So let's put the frame rate at 60, put right color buffers on, and then under advanced settings we're going to Turn on right depth buffers, RSX FIFO accuracy to atomic, and then lastly, the V blank rate to 120. So once those are all set, then you should be good to go and you should be able to run this in the best possible settings. So let's run with custom configuration and it'll start compiling different caches and modules. It might take a while. And this is actually really cool because I never got to see this E3 build. And yeah, it is quite different. It had like an ESRB rating and a little bit more polish to it than the other demos. And it goes straight into a trailer, I guess, because it's on a demo booth. They just want to leave this running all the time. Can choose a few different levels. And then it also has a controller 
pop up. So yeah, this is really quite a bit more presentable than the other builds that I played in that previous video a while back. But yeah, there you go. That's how you convert ISO files into something that is runnable on RPCS3. And here's Uncharted 1 E3 demo running at 4K, about 30 FPS. That's pretty good. I'm sure it would be uh, close to 60 if I turned it back to 1080 or 720p especially, but looks pretty nice if you exclude the random pop-in. And again, this should work for just about any PS3 ISO, but I thought this would be especially useful for pre-release builds because PS3 dev kits are quite hard to come by to get those running properly, so using an emulator is the next best option, and hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching if you made it this far, like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and let me know down below if there's any other emulation guides that you'd like to see on my channel.